Thanks for coming back for another shift here at the Intensive Car Unit. Today, we're going to make Marie Kondo proud and get to cleaning it and organizing the garage. Now, that's not to say that we still won't be doing some mechanical work or manual labor, because that is absolutely on the docket as well. So, I just want you guys to sit back and enjoy. And uh, let's see if we can't make Marie Kondo a little bit more proud than what is currently coming from the garage, because it's a nightmare, honestly. It really is. So, enjoy. <laughs> So I kept hemming and hawing back and forth on this video, um, speeding it up and slowing it down. I really didn't want to put this clip in because there's a lot of time just spent. And um, the more I thought about it, the more I needed to put this in because this is the kind of stuff that's not shown on a lot of these shows. Uh, this is the nitty gritty. This is the stuff that people don't want to do. Um, you saw when I was pushing the Maserati out with uh, Chad that how slippery the floor was and just dirty the floor was and uh, this is a whole process of me just getting everything organized getting them into totes getting them cleaned up and just set up to where i can actually function again in the garage i got one major part of the project done and now i'm just gonna focus on the next part you know i gotta get the sound apart and um, get the engine out the transmission the differential all the running gear and stuff like that um, and with the garage in its current state, I just wasn't able to get my mind in the game. So it's really, really important to address these things. Um, cleaning up, organizing, labeling, it's the, the not fun thing, but it ultimately makes it to where you, you have a better idea what you want to do, where you want to go and how you want to get about doing it. Um, and it just gives you a better peace of mind of, the location that you're working in, how you're working in it. So I apologize if this isn't your thing, watching me run around like a madman, cleaning things up, but it's it's one of those things that needs to be done. And um, yeah, I just figured I would document it along the way too, because it's, it's just one of those other jobs that you don't think about, you don't see very often. So hope you enjoy, or if not, uh, sorry. <laughs>
So now that I've got the actual garage somewhat organized, cleaned up, and at least able to walk around and move around in it without having to trip over things, uh, looking at the car, it had sat outside without a front rubber cover for the better part of a year. Actually, over a year now that I think about it. And, um, you know, you just get leaves and dirt and tree and grass and just everything just starts falling on it, bird droppings, everything like that. So, Chad and I both discussed that before I started working on this thing, I needed to have something that was in a clean, organized, I'm not getting, you know, rained on with dirt, tree debris, and all that sort of stuff as I'm going on all this. So, you'll be able to see that, you know, just knocking out all the heavy leaves and dust and you can just see how dirty this car actually was in the process of everything from just sitting outside, not, not even being driven. It's just sitting there existing with a broken engine. So I hope you enjoy watching this little bit of the clip of us cleaning it up, scrubbing it in what was 55 degree weather, but the water was probably closer to 40 and absolutely frigid. My knuckles hurt. My hands hurt. Um, but it needed to be done and the weather was at least partially nice enough that I could actually go out and do it. So Chad and I just knocked it out and it, it makes me feel a lot better knowing that this car is clean and able to be used and torn apart without just crap falling all over everything inside the garage and me having to work around that stuff too. So hope you enjoy seeing the differential on the hood line and, and all that stuff as we go through and clean this car up. So...
Okay. So I just pulled off the wheels and managed to break not one, but two studs off. Um, kind of frustrating, but I'll have to do some actual repair work on this thing just so I can get it on track outside of the actual planned um, teardown, etc. But um, yeah, there it is. Uh, two broken bolts. Studs, sorry, studs. Two broken wheel studs. So, joy. Now that this shift is coming to an end, let's go ahead and do our handoff real quick. It doesn't feel like anything major got accomplished. However, that's far from the case. We ended up cleaning up and organizing the garage, scrubbing the floor lightly, washing the scion, and getting all those leaves and that year's worth of dirt and grime and stuff off the vehicle. Now, that might not seem like a whole lot, but that is all important steps just to help get us in the mind space to where we can focus on the task at hand instead of how dirty and dusty things are. Along with that, there are some other things that we did end up getting accomplished besides just the cleaning side of things. We, did, we were able to get the sound on the lift and get the wheels and tires off, but uh, that unfortunately ended up in some carnage. We lost two wheel studs on the driver's side. Don't know why it was only on the driver's side, but uh, we ended up did, losing those two. We'll get to that in a future episode. Um, it's nothing really major. It's just more of a pain and frustration than anything at all. If you are enjoying these episodes, please press the like and subscribe button, hit that bell, comment, do whatever, give me a downvote even, I don't care. Um, but leave something, something for me to go off of so I can further give you guys the enjoyment and the entertainment that you guys are looking for out of this. Because without you guys, this isn't as much fun. So until next time, stay safe. Thanks for coming back for another shift here at the Intensive Car Unit. God, Murphy. The one thing that nobody likes doing, cleaning and organizing. However, we're still going to be... Thanks for coming back for another shift here at the Intensive Car Unit. Today, we're be going... Thanks for coming back for another shift here at the Intensive Car Unit. Today, we're going to be doing... Bleh. Slow down. That's not to ignore the fact that we're still going to be doing some manual labor. And I just hit the... I need, I need to stop. I need to stop doing that. Thanks for coming back for another shift here at the Intensive Car Unit. Today, we're going to be going over... No, not going over. We're going to be busy doing things that nobody likes to do.